Okay. Hi guys. Um, so I'm kind of thinking out loud here a little bit. Um, group B strep. So my first pregnancy with Aria, I tested positive for group B strep at, I think it was like 32 weeks. Um, when I got a severe kidney infection from it and had to stay in the hospital for three days. So I was diagnosed then and they pretty much told me from that point, um, it didn't matter how I tested later in pregnancy. They would automatically give me antibiotics when I was in labor to prevent, uh, GBS transfer to Aria. So, um, if you've watched my, like, explanation on my last pregnancy video. You already know this, but whatever. Um, I'll go through it anyway. So my labor with Aria started off with my water breaking and, um, my midwife insisted that I go into the hospital immediately and they started antibiotics immediately and Pitocin immediately. Um, and I was in labor for 16 hours ish before Aria was born. Um, now, I was ruptured the whole time, but I got the full antibiotic dosage that they, they say prevents any transfer to the child of the group B strep. And then Aria um, was fine when she was first born, and then 24 hours later, she had the signs of uh, pneumonia and um, looking back on her, her medical records, it was actually confirmed that group B strep is what caused her to have the pneumonia. So, um, I kind of didn't know what to do this pregnancy because I did all the things that the medical community told me to do to prevent, um, a potentially fatal infection. And she got it anyway. Um, so I'm leaning more towards the natural methods. Now, okay, part of me is like, Mo, maybe you should get both. Um, but I don't know. You know, all I've been reading about, like, the antibiotic resistant super bacteria is crazy and, um, there was a mom who was recently, who was in the community recently who contracted, uh, an infection at the hospital that was resistant to antibiotics. And that's just making me nervous about that. So I think that I am going to go the natural method at trying to, like, prevent this and prevent it from being positive on the test and then continue, um preventing all the way up until the moment that I give birth. So what that is going to entail, and maybe, like, I mean, if this is successful, I'll do a video about it for you guys, but um, I've just been reading up on different blogs and, like, taking different things from different people. So what I'm going to start doing is, for right now, um, taking raw garlic again every day, and raw honey, and cinnamon, and... What else? Um, so I already take kefir, but I'm going to start making kombucha. I think it's how you pronounce it. And once I get that figured out and like a good recipe for it, I'll probably do like a video on it for you guys. Um, but I've got like a couple new hippie crunchy mom friends who do it. So I'm hoping that they help me out with that. Um, so that stuff, I'm going to get a good pill form probiotic because I do take probiotics in like yogurt and kefir, but I am just gonna like probiotic the shit out of myself. So uh, I'm gonna start doing that. And then vitamin C, which I already take vitamin C cranberry extract pills. So I hope that that's enough um, vitamin C that I'm getting. Plus I just like, I'm obsessed with citrus fruit. So I, I don't know, I get a lot of vitamin C. So that's the plan. Oh, and then taking uh, at least one tablespoon of extra virgin coconut oil every day and also applying that topically and apple cider vinegar. Um, so I think that that covers the list. I've got it all written down somewhere of what I'm going to be doing. 
So that is what I'm going to be doing, and I really, really, really hope that it works. Um, it it's one of my worst fears that I'm gonna ha I'm, that my that this baby is gonna be sick too, and like Ari is not like a sickly kid. She, but I mean, spending a week in the hospital with a newborn is not ideal. It's really scary. And, um, I just want to prevent any of that. And since modern medicine kind of failed me, I, I don't want to do it over again and have the same outcome. So I'm trying something different this time and hopefully it'll go good. I mean, we'll know when I test, I think they test you at 35 weeks if I test positive or not. Um, my diet is way healthier this pregnancy just because I'm not eating processed foods all all the time. And I am taking, I am drinking kefir, which I didn't used to do. And just, I think I'm overall healthier and more conscious of that stuff. And I've gotten like a lot more crunchy and natural since then. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's going to be good and I feel like I'm doing the right thing. And I'm just nervous about it because, um, when I went to the hospital the other day, I told the OBs what had happened with my last kidney infection. They're like, oh my gosh, make sure you definitely ask for antibiotics when you go into labor again this time. And I'm just kind of like, mm, I don't know, you're like fear mongering me and I don't, I don't like that. And why would you say that if it didn't work the first time? Why would it work the second time? So I don't know. Anyways, this is way longer than I expected it to be. And yeah, that's what's on my mind. If you had this or anything, like, or if you've heard any um, natural remedies for groupie strut, please leave a comment below for me. Um, yeah. Thumbs up the video if you'd be interested in me doing a video about the kombucha or um, just like overall my remedies for groupie strut and like how I take them maybe. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.